Starlink is finally getting serious about India. After two years of waiting, changing plans, and dealing with government rules, Elon Musk's satellite internet company now has official permission to operate in the country. That's right. On June 6, 2025, the Indian government gave Starlink a license called GMPCS, which basically means, OK, you can start preparing to offer satellite internet here. This is the same license that companies like OneWeb and Geo Satellite already have. But here's the twist, even though the license is approved, Starlink still has some work to do. Before they can actually start selling their services, they need to pass a few more steps. This includes getting spectrum allocation, building earth stations, and making sure everything follows India's rules for security and data. In other words, Starlink is not launching tomorrow, but it's no longer a dream, it's coming soon. So what can we expect? First, let's talk about the hardware. To get Starlink internet at home, you'll need to buy a dish. And no, it's not a simple Wi-Fi router. The Starlink dish connects directly to low Earth orbit satellites flying above you at thousands of kilometers per hour. The price of the dish in India is expected to be around 33,000 Indian rupees. That's just the one-time setup cost. After that, the monthly plan will cost about 3,000 Indian rupees. In some places, it might even go as low as 850 Indian rupees if they run promotions. But yes, even the cheapest plan is more expensive than Geo Fiber or Airtel Stream. So who is this for? Not for cities like Mumbai or Delhi. Starlink is not trying to compete with your normal broadband. It's for people living in small towns, hilly areas, border regions, forests, basically anywhere where regular internet is bad or doesn't even exist. In fact, the Indian government is also supporting this idea. They want companies like Starlink to bring internet to those areas where it's too expensive or too slow to install fiber cables. Now here's something interesting. Starlink has already made deals with some Indian telecom companies like Bharti Airtel, Geo, and Vodafone Idea. These partnerships will help Starlink use existing infrastructure and speed up the rollout. That's funny because earlier in 2021, the Indian government had actually told Starlink to stop taking pre-orders. But now, after two years of waiting and fixing paperwork, the same government has given the green signal. So when will Starlink start working in India? Most sources say the full launch will happen either by the end of 2025 or early 2026. Before that, they'll do trial runs in selected regions, probably remote areas.